Can you imagine? The Sammy Continental Championship <laughs> has a nice ring to it, if you ask me. All I have to do is defend it tonight, and WWE will have no choice but to give in to popular demand and make the change. I have no idea who I'm facing, but it doesn't matter. I am going to beat whoever it is, and you will never, ever see the Intercontinental Championship again. Wait a second. Is this finally happening? We've been seeing and hearing about this person for weeks. Could this be the long-awaited debut of The Lock? I'm not sure what or who else it could be. The Lock has arrived on Raw. And apparently The Lock is Sammy's mystery challenger. Well, Sammy's big ideas about rechristening his title the Sammy Continental Championship could be changing quickly. We've heard The Lock is a future champion, and we might not have to wait long for that to come true. This superstar has made a name for himself all around the world, but if you ask me, he looks like he fits right in here at WWE. Well, I agree. He's got the flashy debut, the pyro and all, but now it's time to see if he can deliver in the ring against the veteran competitor in Sami Zayn. Sami might have the experience edge, but he was caught off guard here tonight, so I'd actually give the advantage to The Lock. You might have a point, Saxton. Sami Zayn looks like he's hesitant to even go through with this match. He's shook. I don't blame him. Can the lock live up to all the hype? We're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, the Locks long awaited debut is happening right now on Monday Night Raw. And what a way to kick things off as Sami Zayn's challenger for the Intercontinental Championship. There's been a lot of talk about how the Locks going to change the game in WWE, but I'll believe it when I see it. Time to see if he's ready to deliver the goods. And did you hear the impact of that? Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Kick right to the back of the leg. Kick and set all the way to the outside. Look out! Hurricane oh, Not even missing a beat. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Enough already. A continuous rush on Sami Zayn here. Yeah, a tough night so far for Sami. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Into the barricade. And Tagiri finds its mark. Some hard offense landing on the champ. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. From the top. Have to head back in the ring now. Yeah, it counts running out. Just crashing down with high impact. Drop kick. Beautiful. And the lock has picked up the pace. Yeah, lock is proving hard to keep up with. into the ring from the floor now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Sami Zayn retaliates. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. The champs ran on shaky ground now. This is a very dangerous situation now. Sami Zayn needs to dig down deep as he's done so many times in the past. A continuous rush on Sami Zayn here. Yeah, a tough night so far for Sami. Right in the face. My God. Just pounding away. Solid punch. 
As the opponent set up, drop kick to the back. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Surprise there. Here's the pen to retain. And an effective pen. I was not expecting that from him at this point. And Locke is really putting the pressure on. But Locke isn't holding anything back. Oh, you might be kidding me. Back of his neck. He is rubbing up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Oh, Zane anticipated that. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, right in there. And that might be the start of the momentum swing that Sammy needed. He isn't allowing that burst of attacks to finish him. And he barely evades. Hoist it up. He's, He's getting fired up now. Really feeding off this ground. Standing shooting star. Press incredible. Oh, man. Able to reverse. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Now, it goes powerful. And Sami Zayn reverses it. Wow, what a drop kick. Their opponent's arm driving a knee into the arm. Ah, oh, kick! Nasty kick. And his core has been taking a beating. And you have to wonder if that's affecting his breathing. Flying Hurricane Rana! Fantastic. Here we go. No. Fake me out again. Watch this athleticism. Whoa, whoa. Sent outside. 
What's he looking for here? Oh, no. Some precision. Tornado DDT by Zayn. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. And we just saw some serious offense. Locke sizing him up from the top. Coming back in the ring. From the top, double axe handle cuts. Zayn able to adapt. Zayn dodges just in time. Too much time. Well, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stunt puller leg snap. Very effective. Just turning it away. Enough already. And just look at the damage to Zane's face after that shot. Oh, what a shot. A continuous rush on Sami Zayn here. Now we're seeing some rare flaws in Sami Zayn's game plan. The hold of the arm, a chop for good measure. Not done yet. What agility. Nice arm drag. And Tagiri finds its mark. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Carefully plays stop to the arm. is proving hard to keep up with. Another way. And he's been concentrated on that area throughout this one. He knows every blow there weakens his opposition more each time. Oh, right to the kidneys. God, Able to give him the slip. That'll cost some teeth. Oh, jeez. Pinning down their opponent's arm. Vicious knee drop. Sammy is like a deer in the headlights here. No way. Astounding power. In the days. The title might change hands. One, two. The lock is indeed lived up to the hype by winning the Intercontinental Championship in his WWE debut. What an unbelievable night here on Raw. Not many superstars can say they captured championship gold their first night on the job. We heard so much about this superstar, how he was the next big thing, a future world champion, and so far I have every reason to believe those are true statements. I'm just glad we won't have to see the Sammy Continental Championship. Me too, Byron. I think we all owe the lock a thank you for that. Hold up, Sammy Zayn from behind. Well, apparently this isn't over. The lock ducks and he nails him. Sammy goes head first into the side of the safe. Wait, what's he doing? I think the lock's going to lock up Sammy. Yes, do it. Into the safe. We might never have to see Sammy again. Thank you. Now what? He's going to send Sammy for a ride. night just keeps getting better. Once again, your new Intercontinental Champion, The Luck. What a debut.
There he is. Ready for your big Raw debut tonight? Yeah. Can't wait to get out there. Good. We can't wait either. This has been a long time coming, and you've earned it. Thanks. Hey, what's up with the camera? She's been following me around since I got here. Oh. Talent relations didn't tell you? It's for this documentary thing they're shooting on you. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. It's Kat, right? Yep, Kat with a K. K-A-T. Sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier, but when I'm shooting these, I gotta be a fly on a wall. You're going to be seeing a lot of Kat over the next year. Gotta document the rise of the next big thing. The future world champion. The Lock. Whoop, whoop. Sorry, fly on a wall. I've been meaning to talk to you about that whole the lock thing, by the way. I, can I just use the name I've used my entire career? I mean, that's how the rest of the world knows me. Yeah, but that's not how the WWE universe knows you. We can't assume they've seen any of your matches before this. I think a lot of people have. Isn't that how WWE found me? Look, this is typical for superstars who come up outside the system. WWE likes to put their spin on things, and 99% of the time, it's a huge improvement. Okay, but doesn't the name sound too much like The Rock? It sort of does. Do you mind? Think of this as a new and improved version of yourself. We have a proven track record with this sort of thing. You just need to trust the process. Is that what you're required to say now that you're office? No. Corporate requires me to say and do a lot of things, but that's not one of them. I don't know. It feels restrictive. I just want to be myself. I hear you, but it's not just a nickname. The entire WWE machine is behind this. We have a huge entrance planned with Pyro, a championship opportunity, New gear? <laughs> They're shooting this whole documentary about you. And we got this for you, too. Get it? A lock? <laughs> Is that left over from John Cena's chain gang days? Maybe. But things worked out OK for him, didn't they? Guess so. I got to run. But I promise, this is going to be fine. Just trust the process, and it'll all work out. Because remember, you're the lock. We good here, or...? Yep, got what I needed. That's a cut. Week two on Raw. Let's see what they have in store for me. Can't be any crazier than last week, right? Hey! <laughs> Didn't get the chance to say hi last week. That was a hell of a debut. Thanks, Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Gabe. Excuse me, Gabe, can you turn to camera and introduce yourself? Seriously? I've been in WWE for 10 years. I think whoever's watching will know who I am. <laughs> we probably won't use this, but just in case. Fine. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time U.S. champion, two-time intercontinental champ, multi-time tag champion, and all-around good guy. Does that work? Thanks. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to WWE. I know it can be hard sometimes for people to get acclimated here. It's going okay so far, but yeah, it's a bit of an adjustment since I didn't come up through the Performance Center. Or even work the U.S. scene much before this. Okay. Well, let me give you some quick tips to fit in. Make sure you fist bump and or shake everyone's hand every time you see them. Be willing to give up your first class seat if there are veterans and coach. And uh, never sneeze around the big boss. Never. Well, I don't want to overwhelm you, but if you ever need any help or advice, I got your back. <laughs> I think I'm good, but thanks. All right. Later, Locke. Call me champ. Okay, champ.
That was a good dry run. Now let's do another take without the interruption from the raw welcoming committee. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that guy has never really made it. I'm too friendly. I think we got it. I need to go get changed. Here is your winner, R. Here is your winner.
Here is your winner. R. Here is your winner. R.
Wow, look who it is. Sammy, what happened to your neck? Don't get cute with me. You know exactly what happened. I had no idea who I was facing, and as a result, I lost, suffering emotional and physical damages after you assaulted me with that safe. I am going to sue you for everything you're worth. I'd rather take you on in the ring than in the courtroom, but it doesn't look like you're in any condition to do that. No, I'm not, thanks to you and your shenanigans. But maybe we can work something out. I won't sue under the following conditions. First, when I'm ready, I get a rematch for my title. And second, you no longer use the safe as part of your entrance as it will cause further emotional distress, putting me at an unfair disadvantage. I actually already told management I was done with the safe. Anyway, just let me know when you're ready to lose to me again. I will, but it won't be a loss for me. And in the meantime, I have one other condition to prevent legal action. First, you must face my hand-picked opponent so I can rest up and do some extra scouting. Sure. Who do you want me to go up against? Oh, you'll find out in the ring. Not a great feeling when you don't know who you're facing, is it? Good luck. It's the man who might transform WWE forever, The Lock. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Kathmandu, Nepal, weighing in at 240 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, R. The WWE Universe delivering quite a reaction. Perhaps the most highly anticipated match of the night. Turn out the lights and close the doors behind you. It's time to lock up. A man who absolutely adores a fight. And his opponent, accompanied by Sami Zayn, representing the Brawling Brutes from the United Kingdom, weighing in at 253 pounds, Ridge Holland! Ridge Holland learned his craft from some of the biggest names in British wrestling, but he now sits under the learning tree of perhaps the best brawler in WWE history. A man you definitely don't want to start a fight with. You know that old adage, speak softly and carry a big stick? Well, it certainly applies to this man. Holland going to let his power speak for him tonight. His spectacular debut, the Intercontinental Champion will look to keep his momentum going tonight against Sami Zayn's hand-picked opponent, Ridge Holland. Looks like Ridge Holland has company, though. Sami Zayn has apparently opted to rehab his neck at ringside. Buckle up, folks. The Locks title might not be up for grabs, but his reputation would certainly take a hit if he takes a step backwards here tonight. Enough already. He's channeling the crowd's energy. A big forearm connects. 
Momentum on the side of the lock. The lock isn't holding anything back. Wow, quickly moves. Attacking the knee. Ooh, he's looking a little off balance. No, oh, oh, oh. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Caught with a punch. able to stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command? Oh, it's a moonsault, my God! Flash rotation creates so much more force than a standard splash. Holland able to counter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, are you kidding me? Back of his neck. And he can't defend any offense coming his way. In this situation, he has to get resourceful. Whoa. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Sky high. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast in time. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. is really putting the pressure on. A kill instinct from the left is shining through. Whip back into the ring. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Oh, and back to the elbow. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. The lock looking to go airborne. From the heavens, big time splash. He is having his way in this one now. Just an on rush of offense here. He's turning the tables. Prime opportunity now for him to get some separation and gather himself. The end may be in sight for his opponent here. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Series of reversals. Abandoned being shown and paying off as well. Two. Three. He has him right where he wants him. Four. And up the turnbuckles we go. Off the top. You want to talk about putting it all on the line? Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Two. And he slides him back to the mat. Power bomb! A knee right to the face. And the lock's maintaining the advantage now. The lock isn't holding anything back. Right to the face. My God. Uh-oh, pulling the hair into a mat slam. Head like a basketball. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, stiff punch. Big punch finds its mark. And more attacks up there could leave him stunned. Each blow affecting his equilibrium. And some effective offense with that one. This is just an overwhelming amount of offense on him. Yeah, and he keeps struggling to slow the opposition down. 
Say something about the safe. Could be some kind of revenge for what happened when the lock debuted. With the deranged Sami Zayn calling the shots, nothing is off limits. Well, whatever the plan is, Sami looks to be maneuvering the lock toward the stage. And the lock's helpless after taking that blow from his own chain. And there it is. Rich Holland has brought out the lock safe. What the heck is their plan? Belly to belly suplex on the unforgiving stage. Now what are they gonna do? Is Sami Zayn trying to tip the safe over on top of the lock? Those things weigh like a thousand pounds. This is way worse than what the lock did to Sami. Our Intercontinental Champion is gonna be seriously injured. This is bad. Especially with both of them pushing it now. I don't think I can watch this. Gabriel Slade is here. Thankfully, he's going to put an end to this. Yeah, Sammy and Ridge want no part of him. Oh, no idea if these two are friends. Maybe Slade just didn't want to see someone get squashed. Well, Locke certainly looks frustrated with himself, or Gabriel Slade, or maybe all of the above. He should just be happy he's walking out of here on his own two feet and not getting peeled off the stage. Hey, you okay? It was almost really bad. Thanks for the assist, but I'm fine. It might not have looked like it, but I had things under control out there. Really? It looked more like you were about to get flattened by a thousand pounds safe. The respect you wanted to handle your own business, bud. I meant it when I told you I'd have your back. Look, let's get this straight. I like to do things on my own. It's gotten me this far. Take it from someone who's been here a while. That's not going to cut it in WWE. And whether you want my help or not, I heard we're teaming together next week against Sammy and Ridge Holland. Fine. I guess we can team up for one night. Do you want to talk strategy or anything? I'll see you in the ring next week. It's the superstar who's a lock to be on top of WWE for years to come. The following contest is a tag team match set for... It's one of the most seasoned superstars in WWE, Gabriel Slade and his partner, Ah, oh, time for more conspiracies. Michael Cole. Sami Zayn himself would say that's not very... Man.
the brawling brute, Ridge Holland. It's been a non-stop thrill ride ever since the Intercontinental Champion stepped foot in W. Can he take down? The Koji clutch is in. Only a matter of time. He breaks it up, and we're still going. Oh, costly error there. a projectile now. There they go. Great counter. Catches the leg. What a DDT. Wow. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Bouncing that head like a basketball. Absorbed some damage already. Yeah, he might want to tag out just to have the fresher teammate in right now. Not that he can't fend for himself right now. Tag made. Tag made. Momentum on the side of the lock. Yeah, lock is proving hard to keep up with. German. Just pure dominance. above the shoulders. Long fall and even harder impact. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Reaches his partner for the tag. A rope step to make a hero. Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke. And it pays off.
He just barely blinked off him. And that definitely made solid impact. Blockbuster. Oh, it's just punishing the knee. Shot after shot after shot. Hammer the way. Oh, it's through Moonsault. My God. Harsh forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. He got whipped into that corner. Ah, oh, this is classic Sami Zayn. Through the post. Tosses him back in there. Does he have him here? He keeps his team in the match. He's ejected from the ring. Conspiracy theory about this, and that was a precisely measured attack. That's a forearm that'll floor you. Brutal stomp to the body, and just getting started. Look at this brutality. This is how you torture your opponent. Oh my God, this is hard to watch. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. And the lock's caught. And guys, now I see blood on the face of the lock. And there's the save. Let's keep fighting. Into the cover. the save for his team. So, these interviews for the doc will be quick and easy. It's just like we're having a conversation. I've seen these before. I get it. Okay, good. So, a lot to catch up on. You debuted on Raw, won the IC title, almost got squashed by a half-ton safe, but then were rescued by an unlikely ally in Gabriel Slade. I appreciated the assist, but I wouldn't go as far as to say we're allies. Okay, let's not get hung up on semantics. Nonetheless, Sami Zayn was not happy that Shawn Michaels gave you the choice of how you'll defend your Intercontinental Championship. Is there any merit to Sami's complaints? I know I'm new here, but I also know that Sami Zayn will find a way to complain about anything. That's true. I once heard him complain that the production crew's box dinners were bland and uninspired. Really? 
Oh, okay, that was me. But you get the idea. Anyway, what's your choice for the rematch against Sammy? And give me some flavor, if you don't mind. Both Sammy and I have been knocked down the last few weeks, but now we're going to find out who's the last man standing. Nice. Really felt the passion there. Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the lock. Well, here comes the master. The Intercontinental Championship, one of the most coveted titles in all of WWE. What an atmosphere for the Locks premium live event debut. And what a matchup as the Intercontinental Champion defends his title against his biggest nemesis in WWE, Sami Zayn. Biggest nemesis in WWE? Who's the Locks second biggest nemesis? Get the break, Cole. The guy just got here like 10 minutes ago. Well, he's already made more of a mark in the ring in 10 minutes than you did in 10 years, Corey. And I expect him to make a few extra marks on Sami tonight. Basement Haymaker taking that. Ooh. Tripling attack on the knee. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. Corkscrew moonsault. Beautiful. You really have to be confident in your athletic ability to pull off a standing moonsault like that. And he goes into the ring. Oh. Nice series of strikes. Oh. The old forearm smash combo. Zane looking helpless to every attack. Now we're seeing some rare flaws in Sami Zayn's game plan. A locks in the... Uh-oh. And Sami has countered. If he was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Dropkick hits the mark. Draped across the middle rope. What's next? A body avalanche. Comes back into the ring. Kicks to the lower back. Clutching the wrist. Just absolutely punishing their opponent here. Relentlessly. And what a time maneuver there. And the lock has picked up the pace. Yeah, lock is proving hard to keep up with. Looks like it's back to the drawing board. That's how you hurt your opponent. Running Swanton finds the mark. A continuous rush on Sami Zayn here. Yeah, a tough night so far for Sami. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Impact 
dropped to the knee. The challenger not looking good right now. Yeah, Michael, but in this type of match, it's all about how much you can endure. <laughs> Ooh, slows that down with a well-placed kick. Uh-oh, half and half suplex, lights up. This one is headed outside, guys. He's looking to absolutely destroy his opponent with that chair. Quick strike to the lower body. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Across the top rope. Oh, that'll turn your clock. It's a recipe for cracked ribs. Good night. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find a defense for this. I don't care who you are. You can't take consecutive attacks like that without it affecting you. The WWE Universe giving him an extra shot of adrenaline. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Six. Oh man, the referee just counted to seven. That stops the count there. Better settle in for a long night, Saxton. Oh, the lock is focused on finishing this. He moved, but can he capitalize? Out of the ring, what's his plan here? We've got him totally fighting with the WWE Universe right now. Sami Zayn retaliates. Coming in hot. He'll take things into the ring. Drop kick. The upper hand now belongs to Locke. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. And a well-executed move we just saw there. The challenger is in some big trouble. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Sami Zayn needs to dig down deep as he's done so many times in the past. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Oh my god, a steel chair! And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. And you can tell there are cruel intentions in mind right now. This is getting scary now. No one can survive this much. Sammy isn't going to like what's about to come his way. No way. Astounding power. End of days. The title is going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. A count of seven. Is this really it? Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Here we go, your favorite call, Blue Thunderbolt. Guess he didn't think that was enough. Striking while his opponent is still vulnerable. Getting set. Congratulations to the crowd and get back into the fight. Strong forearm. 
And boom, good night. Zayn looking helpless to every attack. Now we're seeing some rare flaws in Sami Zayn's game plan. Elbow thrown to break up the maneuver. That was brutal, and now the blood is flowing from the lock's face. There you go. And he'll stand to break the count and keep this one going. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Suplex. The champ not in a great place. And taking this kind of damage is unsustainable. Getting up from the count of 10 is going to be impossible at this rate. Inflicting pain at will. Oh, the knee takes a big hit. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Oh, my gosh, what impact. And stopping the referee's count? That was sweet. Either that or it was deliberate. Perhaps looking to make a statement. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Now, oh, come on. This is just too much. I agree. The ref had already started the count. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. Loading and put your attention back to the match. Oh. Able to answer the count. It's not over yet. And that was an effective attack, guys. Lock launching attacks left and right. Lock's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Count gets to seven. This is close. He stands up and stops the ref's count. You can't keep him down. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Boom, what impact. A continuous rush on Sami Zayn here. Yeah, a tough night so far for Sami. And that was offense with a thoughtful purpose. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Great wherewithal on the counter. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Boom, DDT. No man on the side of the rock. The rock's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Referee's count has reached seven here. Getting dangerously close to the inevitable. You never see that coming. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Momentum going back to Zane's corner. But Zane has to push now while the window's open. Placing them right where... Jeopardy here. I think the paradigm is 
shifted. Here we go, your favorite call. And Sammy's fighting the energy to get ahead in the fight. Yeah, the lock is getting a challenge and then some tonight. Popped right in the face. Oh, what a kick. Not done yet. Gonna take a trip. And we see the attention being put on the torso area. Looking to pile on more offense rather than let the count go. And Locke got turned around there. And it looks like they've still got something left in the tank. <laughs> Setting up. All right, that's it. Oh. Nice suplex. Vertical suple. This match isn't over yet. Guess he caught another win. And down with the suplex. And they're up. Last man standing match continues. And he sends him into the corner. Stopping the referee's count, continuing this match. Obviously has plans to add more insult to injury here. Oh, what a close line. Who's fully delivered? He's headed up top. Thinking big. Oh, way too And what a maneuver we just saw there. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. He's heading back to the ring. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. That's seven. We may be getting to the end. He's channeling the crowd's energy. Gets inside the ring. Uh-oh. Blocked the effort and cut them off with a shot to the gut. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Into the DDT. Interrupting the count. Probably looking to deal some more damage. And Sami Zayn reverses it. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Oh, what a smack. That is just insulting. It's getting close. And the champ retains. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, R. You cannot say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory. Practically an inhuman effort in terms of resilience on display throughout this match. You really have to hand it. Hey, champ. I've been meaning to talk to you about a potential big opportunity. Is now a good time? Yeah, sure. What's going on? So far, you've been living up to the office's expectations, but now it's time for a big test. We want the lock to headline a live event for the first time, defending the Intercontinental Championship. A live event? I'm not sure that's a big test. Let me finish. 
to live events in one of our top markets, LA. But there's always a lot of competition for the WWE Universe's entertainment dollar. It takes a big name talent to put butts and seats there. You know, like when I main evented WrestleMania 12. Wasn't that in Anaheim? Technically not LA. Nothing gets by you. Anyway, you can sell out a major arena in LA. You can do it anywhere, even Anaheim. So what do you think? I think I'm more than ready. Let's make it happen. Great. We thought we'd let you choose who you want a main event against. Sami Zayn, Ridge Holland, Austin Theory. We can just promote your appearance without an opponent. I wouldn't mind smacking around Sami Zayn for old time's sake. Tried and true. I'll make it happen. So, big live event coming up. Do you feel extra pressure knowing that same night The Rock will be in LA promoting the premiere of his new movie, Mudslide? I don't know why they didn't call it Rock Slide. It was right there. That's news to me. And to be honest, that does raise the stakes a bit. The Rock's a huge deal, obviously. But I think there's room for both of us to succeed that night. Or at least I hope so. I should mention that it's not just a typical movie premiere. Rock's giving away a hundred brand new pickup trucks and anyone who attends is eligible to win. I heard fans were lining up weeks in advance. Look, it's gonna be fine, okay? When the bell rings for my match, those seats will be full. Got it. Oh, and just a heads up, I might be a little late to the show on account of the fact I need to cover a friend's shift waiting in line for a truck at Rock's premiere. But I'll try my best to catch your match, too. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the champion from Kathmandu, Nepal, weighing in at 240 pounds, R. the challenger from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zane!
is your winner and still WWE Intercontinental Champion R. So, how'd it go out there? The match went fine, but in case you didn't notice, the arena was only half full. So, not great. What do you chalk that up to? I thought facing Sammy would be a match people wanted to see, but maybe they were tired of it and wanted something new. Or maybe it's just tough to compete with The Rock giving out free trucks. Who knows? Welcome to Raw. Gotta say, I've been a fan of your work for a while. Can't say the same for Drew Gulag, though. I heard him mention your name in a rant about superstars who lack fundamentals. Fundamentals according to who?
That's it, ring it! You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off-screen and on. Just like you, I was strong-willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the clique in DX also puts each other to be better. 
What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I promise, if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot. Got a couple. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it... Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Glad we could finally talk. Especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? A lot, actually. He's been a success both inside the ring and outside guiding the Hurt Business. Sounds like MVP's gotten to you already, but I know he's a big talker, which is about all he can do these days, unlike me. So why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in Arcade Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE, when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time, Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type. And I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet, but with my help, you will be. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. This is a huge decision. I need more time to think it over. Fine, but I'm not going to wait around forever. Let me know soon, before it's too late. Understood. Intercontinental Champion, The Lock. It's a pleasure, man. I've enjoyed watching you tear it up so far on Raw. And they weren't wrong with all that hype, which is why I wanted to talk to you. I'm relaunching the Hurt Business, and I want you to be the centerpiece, the new CEO. The last version had issues. I couldn't keep track from one week to the next if you were together, broken up, or who was even in the group. You're not wrong, which is why I am going to do it right this time. And that starts with you. I mean, look at what I did for Bobby Lashley. I helped elevate him to become WWE Champion. And I can do the same thing for you, but faster. Since, let's be honest, Bobby was a bit of a rehabilitation project, but you? You're ready for prime time. So, who else do you have in mind for the group? I'm reviewing a lot of top candidates, but don't worry about that. No matter who else joins, The Lock is going to be the guy, the focus of the group. 
Every decision the Hurt Business makes will be to further your individual success first. That all sounds good. Assuming you're not just saying all this to get me on board. I'm not. Trust me. I see big things in you. So what do you think? You ready to make the best decision of your life? I still need more time to decide. I totally get it. Think it over and do what's best for you. Hopefully, that means joining my side. I'll let you know. Did you make up your mind about joining me? Yeah, I'm ready to be a part of evolution. Good. You made the right call. I'm extremely confident in your abilities, but I want to give you a crash course in doing things the evolution way. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow, and don't be late. I'll be there.
Seven! 